Sandor is part of King Robert Baratheon's retinue when he visits Winterfell in order to offer Eddard Stark the role of Hand of the King. He acts as the bodyguard of Prince Joffrey and is present at the feast held in the king's honor. Robert offers a betrothal between Joffrey and Sansa Stark and Eddard accepts both engagements. On the king's road back to the capital the royal party reaches the inn at the crossroads. Sandor introduces Sansa to Esser Island Payne, the king's headsman, a fearsome man who had his tongue torn out on the orders of the Mad King many years ago. Joffrey saves Sansa from this unpleasantness and takes her for a walk along the riverbank. Joffrey provokes an argument with the butcher's son Micah and Arya, and is bitten by Nymeria when he attacks them. Joffrey lies about the incident and Sansa supports his version of events. Sandor chases down and kills Micah. When he returns with Micah's corpse, Ned confronts him, saying accusingly, you rode him down. Without bothering to face Ned, the hound remorselessly says, he ran. Not very fast. On his return to King's Landing, Sandor stands guard over Joffrey during the tournament held in honor of Eddard's appointment as hand. Sandor watches distastefully as his brother Gregor kills Esser Hugh of the Vale. Littlefinger tells Sansa that Sandor and Gregor hate one another because, when he was very young, Sandor played with one of Gregor's toys without his elder brother's permission. Gregor held Sandor's face over an open fire, resulting in his hideous burns. They have been enemies ever since. Sandor is amused when Gregor is enhorsed in a joust with Esser Loras Tyrell. Gregor attacks Loras and Sandor intervenes, saving Loras from a would-be fatal blow. They exchange blows until King Robert orders a halt to the madness. Whilst Sandor bows to his king, Gregor begrudging storms off. Loras thanks Sandor, for his life, Esser, to which Sandor states that he is no, Esser. Loras then declares Sandor a champion and the small folk in the crowd cheer him, to Sandor's surprise and embarrassment. King Robert subsequently dies following a hunting accident. Sandor stands guard over King Joffrey as his advisors and vassals swear fealty to him. When Eddard attempts to have Joffrey and Cersei arrested, Sandor joins the Lannister soldiers and men of the city watch in cutting down Eddard's bodyguards, allowing him to be taken prisoner. Sandor leads a party of Lannister guardsmen to the Red Keep where they slaughter Eddard's entourage and capture Sansa. He is later present in the throne room when Esser Barristan Selmy is dismissed from the Kingsguard, a grave affront since members serve for life, and Selmy is offended enough to draw his sword and claim he could cut through all the remaining Kingsguard with ease. Sandor looks wary for the first time, since Selmy is actually that skilled, but the old knight then throws the sword down and storms out. Sandor is made a member of the Sworn Brotherhood, though he refuses to take the vows of knighthood. Sandor guards Joffrey during the execution of Eddard Stark on the steps of the Great Sept of Baelor. After Lord Stark is beheaded by Esser Island, Sandor picks up his head and shows it off to the crowd. Later, Sandor accompanies Joffrey when he takes Sansa to see the heads of her father, Septa Mordain and the rest of the Stark household whilst cruelly mocking her, even having Esser Marin Trant beat her when she suggests that Rob might win the war. When the Hound alone notices that Sansa plans to throw Joffrey from the battlements, he offers Sansa a handkerchief for her bloodied mouth, rescuing Sansa from Joffrey's rage as well as Joffrey from a quick death.